Good morning and welcome to class. Let's begin in a child's pose position, knees to the width of the mat, big toes to touch, forehead on the mat, arms extended, forearms resting on the mat. And over the course of the next 20 minutes, we will move through a flow to help ease into the start of your day. Wherever you're at, start to empty out the breath. Breathing through both nostrils, take a deep inhale, filling the low belly like a balloon and feeling it press between the thighs. Hold for just a moment before letting it go out the mouth. On your next inhale, start to lift onto the fingertips, lifting your forehead gently off the mat and walk the hands over to the right, stacking the left palm on top of the right for one breath. And after that breath cycle, lift back up onto the fingertips, walking the hands over to the left side, right palm stacks on top of left for one full breath circuit. And walk the hands slowly back through center, starting to lift up, coming to a neutral tabletop position. And stack the wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. On the exhale, round the back, and chin to chest and slowly move through your cat cow inhale arch exhale round slowly warming up the spine and inviting gentle movement into the body with each inhale invite fresh energy and space and every exhale release any stagnant energy or tension being held in the body and physically feel it leave with every outflow of breath. Maybe start to move front to back, transitioning into spinal waves. Inhale, rounding forward, chin to chest, and on the exhale, arching the back, broadening the collarbone, creating space with each movement. Moving in a way that serves you this morning. There's no right or wrong. Just really tuning in and moving in a way that serves you this morning. Plant the left palm, right arm reaches high. Take a couple of rotations of the wrist, circling it forward and then moving in the opposite direction. Deep inhale, reaching the right fingertips high. And taking a large circle in each direction, opening up the shoulder. And deep inhale, right fingertips reach towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, right shoulder to the floor, right ear or temple to the floor. The left hand can stay pressing into the mat or the option to extend the left arm and place the left palm in front of the right hip. And breathe here. See if you can twist a little deeper with every exhale. On your next breath, bring your left palm back to the floor if you took the bind. And press yourself back through center to a neutral tabletop position. Right palm plants to the floor. Left fingertips reach high. Rinse out the left wrist, taking one or two rotations in each direction before opening the shoulder with long open circles inhale left fingertips reach high exhale thread the needle left shoulder to the mat and left ear to the mat using the right hand to deepen the twist and again option to take a bind extending the right hand to the sky and placing it in front of the left hip. Two breaths here. Inhale, reach the right hand up, press into the mat, back to a neutral tabletop position. And take a cat cow here to rinse out the spine and bring the alignment back to the body. Inhale, press through the right foot, extending the right leg behind you, keeping the ball of the foot to the floor. And gently rock forward and back on the ball of the right foot to wake up the back of the right leg. 
Inhale, lift the right leg, extending it in line with the right hip. Left arm extends in front of you. Inhale to find length. Exhale, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, extend one long line of energy. Exhale, draw the energy to your center, bringing opposite knee to opposite elbow. After your third extension, bend the right knee, cartwheel the left arm forward and back, reaching for the toes, opening up the chest. One breath and release with control, bringing the ball of the right foot back to the floor, moving forwards and back and coming back through a neutral tabletop position. One cat cow here and find your neutral spine, engage the low belly, inhale, left leg extends behind you, keeping the ball of foot to the floor. Rock forwards and back. Inhale, lift the left leg high, keeping it in line with the left hip. Right arm extends forward, reaching the fingers to the wall in front of you. Inhale to find length. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, one long line of energy. Limbs reaching towards opposite walls. Exhale, bring it to the center. After your third rotation, cartwheel the right arm back, bend the right knee, and reach the fingertips for the top of the right foot. Stay here for two breaths. Release with control, bringing the right palm back to the floor, releasing the left foot to the floor, and moving forward and back once more before coming back to a neutral tabletop position. Walk the arms towards the front edge of the mat and melt your heart towards the floor for extended puppy, keeping the hips lifted high. Toes can be tucked or untucked here. Option to release the forehead to the mat or allow the chin to hover directly above the mat. Moving through five full breath cycles here, noticing the breath. Keeping control, steady, streamlined breathing through both nostrils. On your next inhale, walk the hands back beneath the shoulders. Keeping the palms on the floor, flip the fingers to face the legs. Sit the hips back onto the heels, taking a forearm stretch. Rock forward gently two to three times here. Awakening the forearms, maybe flipping onto the tops of the hands, keeping the fingers facing the legs, and moving slowly back and forth. Inhale, lift the hips high, flip the hands back to facing the front of the mat, and come into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath through both nostrils, open the mouth, and let it go with a sigh. Pedal out the legs here. Awakening the hamstrings, the calves, maybe lift high up onto the toes if that feels good. Bend both knees generously, lift the hips high, reach the heels for the floor. And on your next inhale, lift high onto the balls of the feet, walking the feet to meet the hands at the front of the mat, coming into a forward fold. Uttanasana. Hands reach for opposite elbows, keeping the weight in the balls of the feet, allowing the upper body to hang heavy over the legs. A couple of breaths here. Allow yourself to be fully weightless in the upper half of the body. Inhale, drop the hips. Slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. And come to standing tall at the front of your mat. Maybe shrug the shoulders towards the ears and roll them down the back. And bring your palms to face forward, fingertips reaching for the floor. Crown of the head reaching towards the sky. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Slowly dropping the chin towards the chest. 
opening the throat by releasing the back of the head, moving through three full rotations, circling out the neck before resetting back through center, taking an inhale, lifting through the crown, exhale, left ear to left shoulder, and drop the chin to the chest, and circle out the other side, noticing any differences and how it feels, and pausing in any areas that need extra attention, giving yourself the grace to feel into these parts of the body. The next inhale, reach through the fingertips, extend the arms overhead, hands come to touch, interlacing all fingers but the index finger. On the exhale, bend to the right, pressing the hips towards the left wall. Inhale back through center, reach up, lift high, bend to the left, hips pressed towards the right. Inhale back through center, keeping the hands together, take a slight back bend, Exhale, pull the elbows in line with the shoulders, bend the knees gently, bring the hands to touch and make a fist at the base of the spine. Exhale, reaching through the crown of the head and hinging at the hips, dive forward, riding the breath down. Maintaining the grip, inhale for a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale with the heart leading forward, release. Release your grip here. Option to bring the hands to opposite elbows for a breath or two. Otherwise, inhale for a flat back, halfway lift. Option to bring the hands and forearms behind the legs, bringing the hands to opposite elbows with the grip behind the legs for three breaths. On your next exhale, release. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come to standing, gather the energy between the palms, exhale, dive forward, ride the breath down, inhale for a flat back, halfway lift, exhale, release, inhale, sweep the arms forward, drop the hips, chair pose, shoulders relaxed here, pinkies slightly turned in towards one another, making sure the knees don't pass the toes. Sit a little deeper. Exhale, dive forward, release. Inhale for a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step the left foot back. Reach the right fingertips to the sky. And for a high lunge twist. On the exhale, release the right fingertips. And the left knee to the floor. Sweep the arms forward, coming into a low lunge. Left toes are untucked. And tuck your pelvis, engage the low belly, and sink the hips down and forward. It should feel a nice opening in the left hip space. Exhale, send the hips back towards the back of the mat. For a slow lunge, flex the right foot. Keep a long spine here. Inhale, bend into the right leg. Tuck the left toes under and lift up, coming into a warrior one. Back foot is a 45 degree angle. Back, hips stack beneath the shoulders. And on the next exhale, peel open to a warrior two. The front heel directly aligned with the back arch of the foot. Inhale, flip the right palm forward. Reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, send the weight forward, bringing the right palm to the floor. For extended side angle, bring the left fingertips to the floor. Step the back foot forward, all ten toes facing the front of the mat, feet parallel for pyramid pose. Long spine here, breathe into the front leg, keeping the hips square. Step the left foot forward, inhale for a flat back, halfway lift, exhale, release. Inhale, reverse swan dive to standing. Gather the energy between the palms. Exhale, sit back, chair pose. Biceps in line with the ears. Feet are hips width distance. Sit a little bit deeper. Inhale, come to standing. Take a slight back bend. Exhale, ride the breath down. 
Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, step the right foot back. Right palm plants to the floor. Left fingertips reach towards the sky for a high lunge twist. Exhale, left fingertips to the floor, release the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, drop the hips, low lunge. Engage the low belly here, really sink down and press the hips forward. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, send the hips back, left leg straightens, flex the left foot. Keep a tall spine and release over the left leg. And reverse slow lunge inhale bend into the left leg straighten and lift the right leg coming into warrior one sit a little bit deeper before peeling open right fingertips to the back wall for warrior two back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat fingertips reaching for opposite walls inhale flip the left palm reach forward Exhale, reverse warrior. Left bicep in line with the left ear. Take an inhale. Exhale, travel towards the front of the mat, keeping the front leg bent for extended side angle. Step the left foot forward. Bring the hips square to the front of the mat. Keep a tall spine releasing over the left leg for pyramid pose. Breathe into the left hamstring and step the right foot forward. Drop the hips, sweep the arms overhead, chair pose. Staying here for three, two, come to standing, take a slight back bend, exhale, release, and dive forward. Inhale for a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right foot back and the left foot back, coming into an upper push-up plank position. Slowly with control, lean forward, keeping the elbows tightly tucked to the body and lower onto your belly. Palms beneath the shoulders, inhale, press into the floor and lift up to baby cobra. Exhale with control, release down. We'll do this three more times, inhaling to arch the spine, moving to baby cobra, using your back muscles on the way up and exhale, release with control down move at your own pace once you finish bring the elbows beneath the shoulders press the palms to the floor for sphinx pose pelvis presses to the floor crown of the head lifts towards the sky stay here for three breaths Exhale, release, bend both knees, reach the hands back to the tops of the feet, and on the inhale, lift the heart, lift the crown for bow pose. Feel the space open in the chest. Continue lifting through the crown, kicking the feet into the hands, and exhale, release with control. Tuck the toes, press back, cross the ankles, coming to a seated position. Reach the arms forward, scoot yourself towards the front of the mat and slowly with control, lower onto your back. Inhale, tuck the knees to the chest, giving them a squeeze and gently rocking from left to right, engaging in a hug of the self. And when you're ready, bring the left ankle on top of the right, moving into a reclined figure four option to interlace the hands either behind the right thigh or on top of the left right shin and breathe here left knee is reaching towards the lower left corner of the mat while the right knee is slowly creeping towards the body both feet are flexed here Take one more deep breath, and on the exhale, release. 
Legs lifted, coming into an eagle wrap with the legs. Left knee stacks on top of the right. Wrap the left ankle behind the right calf and come into a twist. The gaze is over the left shoulder. Knees are to the right. And breathe into this space here. Option to have the arms in a cactus. Inhale, bring the knees back through center. Unravel the legs. And bring the left sole of the foot to the floor. Right ankle stocks on top of the left knee. Interlace the grip either behind the left thigh or on top of the left shin. Feet are flexed. Breathe into this space. Soaking up the benefits of reclined pigeon pose. In your next exhale, release, coming into an eagle wrap. Right knee stacks on top of the left, wrapping the right foot around the left calf. Knees fall over to the left, gaze falls over the right shoulder. Do your best here to keep the right shoulder pressed firmly on the mat and fully let go. Release any tension in the face or the jaw, perhaps between the eyebrows. Keep the breath in the low belly. One more breath here. And on your next inhale, lift the knees back through center. Release your wrap. Bring the knees towards the chest, giving yourself one last squeeze before coming into happy baby. Knees reach for the underarms and are bent. The hands reach for the outer edges of the feet. Gently rock from left to right, perhaps playing with extending one leg at a time. Taking any movement to honor the close of this practice. And when you're ready, release, bring the feet together and release the outer edges of the feet to the mat. Allow the knees to splay open to the sides for a supine bound angle. Option to stay here for Shavasana or extend the legs long, arms away from the body, palms up open to receiving. If you took the supine bound angle pose for Shavasana, the hands can rest on the low belly or the heart or my personal favorite to extend the arms overhead, bringing the hands to reach for opposite elbows. Stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Thank you so much for starting your day with me. And remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed this flow.